people and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and I am a homeschool mom who has a second grader, a kindergartner, and a two, almost three-year-old. Um, this is my end of the year update. I will um, be wrapping up and sharing all the things that we have done this year and um, my opinions on the curriculum that we used and have been using. Um, I have other videos, if you want to go back and see where we started last summer, um, you can go back in my channel and see what we had originally picked um, for all of our curriculum. And then I have a mid-year update. We made a huge amount of changes in January that were very good, and so I'm going to share the, an update on those things. And then um, I'm just going to wrap it all up. Uh, we are about two and a half weeks away two and a half, three weeks away from our last day of school, and we're so ready, but we're trying to finish strong. Um, so I wanted to update everyone on where we are, what we're doing, all the things. So I um, first wanted to talk about our, I guess, core this year has been my father's world adventures in U.S. history, and all in all, we have loved the program. It has been a wonderful um, glance at U.S. history for their age. It's um, intended for second and third graders. We used it um, simultaneously with my kindergartner and my second grader um, and my three-year-old tagged along, but they both learned a lot and they've loved it and we've had a wonderful time. Um, I have some pros and cons with the program in and of itself, but um, Overall, the program is great, and if you are someone who needs your curriculum just like planned out and here you go, um, it's a wonderful, wonderful program. And as a um, mom with a two-year-old, it was really, really helpful for me to have. However, I made a lot of changes this year and um, added things and took things out, and so overall, my the cost of the program I bought it used, but still the cost of the program I don't know if it weighed out with uh, the amount of things I didn't do. So, um, my father's world. If you've never used my father's world before, or if you've not heard, um, once they hit second grade, my father's world includes uh, history, Bible, science, art, music. I feel like I'm forgetting one other thing. Um, I think that's it. So we only used Bible and history this year. We did not use science. Their science is very simple. Um, we did not do the music or the art. So I essentially only used two fifths of the program. It is the largest chunk of the program and I'm glad that I purchased it. Um, and I'm glad that I have the teacher's manual for, my three-year-old when he goes through because it, there was some really great things. Um, so I guess I used half of the program, but I didn't use the science. I didn't use the um, art and the music, and we could have, but I chose not to because I was doing things in another way, in another area. Um, so because of that, we, um, I would not recommend buying the program flat out. Um, we also, we read a lot of the readers, but I added in to my father's world, I added in Beautiful Feet books um, because I felt like some of the Beautiful Feet books that were the biographies were really well done and better than some of the books that came with the My Father's World program. So I had to add those pieces in. Um, we read some great read-alouds and um, chapter books. However, um, we ended up adding stuff in there as well. For Adventures in U.S. History, you only read two um, little house books. You only read Farmer Boy and On the Banks of Plum Creek. And we decided that we would read the whole series instead. I had never read it, but I've heard wonderful things. And so we started with Little House in the Big Woods because we wanted to go in order um, of 
the series. And so we have spent the majority of the year learning through listening to the stories. And um, there's some really great programs out there now that I'm not, they were there, but I didn't know about them until after I had already purchased um, Adventures in U.S. History that use the Little House books as the spine. And in all honesty, I didn't know how much we were going to fall in love with the Little House books, but all of us have fallen in love with them. We've done a lot of road trips this year, and that is one um, thing that we've listened to on all of our road tri trips. So even my husband and I are just loving the books because there's so much education that happens through listening to these books and through listening to these stories. So, um, I've added that in, and that was an expense. Um, just as a side note, we have listened to the audio version. Um, we, I, I got them from the library, um, and we've listened to the audio version, and it is so well done. There's music part of it. The, um, the lady who uh, reads the story um, changes her voice. It's just a very, very well done series. And um, so I would recommend listening to the audiobook. Um, so that is my opinion and the recommendations. Um, the program that I am referring to that uses the Little House books as a spine, I have not ever purchased. I have not seen the whole thing. Um, but it is by the Peaceful Preschool Press, um, and it is called Playful Pioneers. And I foresee the next time that I do um, early American history type things, we will do Playful Pioneers. Um, I, my son, my kindergarten, my, the, sorry, my third grader, my third grader, I'm going to start over. My three-year-old, um, when he is in kindergarten or first grade, we're going to do that with him. I have, a, I have a feeling. So, um, is Adventures in U.S. History great? It is. It's a really nice program. We've learned a ton. Oh, we've added in homeschool pop, um, for each of the states and that has been wonderful. Um, it's been a really great year and we've learned a lot. Um, but there's other ways of learning it as well. So, Count your cost, see how, um, what you would like to do, but if you're looking for like a cheaper option, look into Playful Pioneers and see if that's enough for you. Um, that's just kind of my thought process on there. That was long-winded, I'm sorry. Um, let's move on. So in January, we changed math for both children. Um, we were using Right Start Math for my kindergartner, and she finished um, and we were using teaching textbooks for my son, uh, my second grader, and he finished as well. No, he didn't finish. We decided to change um, because it wasn't being successful. So what we've changed to is um, Master Books Living Lessons, um, Math Lessons for a Living Education. And it has been so good. So good. We have all loved it. It has been a great transition um, it's a wonderful program. Both my kids will be done with these books. Um, oh, sorry. By the time we are done in two and a half weeks. And I have already bought the next level. We're going to keep going. It has been the best. And the reason I say this is because um, my children loved Right Start Math. It has. It was great. It was hands-on. They loved it. They loved it, um, and they gained a lovely um, number sense, and I really enjoyed that, but I was really burned out, and I was to the point where I didn't want to teach it anymore, and so I just stopped, and so um, I needed something because I couldn't do it anymore, and I could have. I could have forced myself to, but I wasn't enjoying it, and we have to think about us, too, as moms, um, not just our kids, so if something's not working for you, you don't have to keep going with it, so we've changed to this. The reason I love Math Lessons for a Living Education is that this is hands-on what I would call applied math, so every lesson that they do, they have a reason why you're learning it. You're learning this because you need it to, for this skill, or you're learning it because we're doing this. And it has a real-life connection. And so I feel like kids want to know why I'm learning this conceptual thing. And if they know why, 
then they're more apt to be willing to do it. And so I have loved it. My kids have loved it. We're going to continue with this. Um, I've convinced a lot of my friends to move to it, and it's just been wonderful. So I would highly recommend this program. Um, and, yeah, if you're looking for a math program, try this. The workbooks on Amazon are like $25 or less. I got level three for $13 one day on Amazon. For some reason, a seller was selling it that cheap. So my, my point in telling you the price is... It's worth trying for $25, and if it doesn't work, then you can buy the more expensive curriculum, but it's worth trying, um, and see what see what you think. See what your kids do and it, how they like it, because um, I think you'll be really, you'll find a lot of success in it. One thing I will say with Masterbooks is they're very gentle, and they're very simple. So my children, um, they, all, they both started these books in January. Um, and they're finishing the books in half a year. So we do one or two, sometimes three days of um, work exercises. So up here, there's exercise one um, and then exercise two and three. Some days I ask them to do that many um, because they're capable. They can. They um, are very capable of getting it accomplished and getting it done. And so... Um, these books are easy enough for them to work through. Once they get to a concept that's a little harder, we'll practice it more and stuff like that. But I did pull my children back a little bit and start them to give them some review. That was my our point in this um, time. So the next thing is um, we added in, we changed out. Um, we were using my father's world language lessons for today, I believe is what it was called. Um, and we've added in language lessons for a living education along with, um, my son is finishing, uh, all about reading level four. And so we've added this in. It has been very good. Again, we have uh, done multiple exercises in a day. Um, but we're coming to a place where the amount of writing that he is doing is causing us to not have as much, um, or not give him as many exercises because we're trying to practice the, the concept of writing. Um, so we've really, really enjoyed it. Um, we have barely scratched the surface on it, um, as you can see. But this um, was something that we started um, a little bit later uh, in the process. So we are really enjoying this. This has been really well, really um really good for him, and we're going to continue it into the fall, um, actually, when we start in the summer. So that's um, this uh, program as well, and that's for Masterbooks. The final thing that I wanted to share is we changed our spelling to spelling UC in January as well, and jury is still out for me on this program. Um, I... So in this program, if you've never heard about this program, what the concept is, is there is a um, poem for this level. There's information. They have to use their colored pencils and find the chunks in this and write, like, mark them. Then each day they copy part of the, the poem. And um, in doing that, they... Um, are supposed to be practicing writing the words to the poem over and over again. And then on the last day, they mark it, they mark the chunks, and then you dictate to them the, um, the words of the poem. And the reason my jury is out is that I'm not seeing confidence yet in spelling. I'm not sure if we're going to stick with it for level C. He still has six weeks left in this when we're done with school um, for the for our break. So when we come back, he's just going to continue with this and um, the language lessons for a living education. We, um, because we're year round, it's okay whenever, like we don't, we just finish when we finish kind of a thing. And then we just start when we are done with the next thing. So we are in an evaluation uh, mode with this. I want to like it. Um, and maybe I'm being too hard on 
my son because the chunks he's getting correct. The things that he's supposed to get correct, he's getting correct. Um, it's just the other parts that he's not. And so um, maybe I'm just not being as patient. But um, I know that as he continues to read more, he will um, continue to do better. So that is um, that's my opinion on that right now. Um, I have friends who love it, and I'm, we're going to keep going with it and see how it is and see where, where we feel we fall at the end of um, the book and see if I, see where we want to go from there. Um, I may even call Spelling UC and talk to someone and see if I'm just being too hard <laughs> on him. Um, so that is my opinion on that. Oh, the last thing I wanted to say is... Um, if you watched my last video, I talked about, oh, and I just posted a video about using all about reading level four and level four, um, is going great, but we're not doing the stories because my son is a reading machine. So I wanted to say, um, I purchased the sunlight readers grade two level. Um, and my son started reading those as well as, um, Usborne has a whole series of Bear Girls chapter books, and Bear Girls chapter books were the key. And so my son read all of them, and he read them and wants to read them again. Um, and it's been very successful in doing that. Um, so you don't have to stick completely to the program in order for your child to be successful. Um, if you let them read what they want to read, they're going to get better and better. So... Anyways, that is my end of the year spiel. Um, I'm sorry if it was so long, um, but that is how um, the year has gone, and we're ready for some a break, but we will be um, back in July. We'll take about seven weeks off, and then we'll hit it again, and we're um, excited. I am looking at all of my curriculum that I've already purchased, and I will be rolling out some of those videos for you in the near future, so you can see what we've picked for this coming year. So, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful day. Bye.